Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, who tells me that it comes from the True Stories collection. Amy uses Mirage Mirror to copy Palace Siege. During her upkeep, which of the effects happens? Okay, so there's actually a couple of problems with this. The first has to do with how turns are structured in Magic. See, Palace Siege's abilities trigger at the beginning of your upkeep, and abilities that have such a trigger condition trigger before any player gets priority to cast spells or activate abilities in that step. So we would need for Mirage Mirror to become a copy of Palace Siege before the upkeep step even begins for this to have a chance of working out, because otherwise we'll miss the spot where the Palace Siege's ability triggers. Well, that's a bummer, but we should still be okay, right? If you've been watching this channel for a while now, then you know that there is indeed a step that happens before the upkeep in the turn, the untap step. Unfortunately, there is a bit of a problem here as well. See, no player gets priority to cast spells or activate abilities during the untap step at all, so there's no way to make Mirage Mirror a copy of anything during that step either. And the untap step is actually the very first step of the turn, meaning that if you try to activate the Mirage Mirror any earlier than that, it would actually be during the previous player's turn, meaning that when the effect wears off during the end of that turn, it will stop being a copy anyway. And so it turns out that it's actually impossible to turn Mirage Mirror into something with an at the beginning of your upkeep trigger and actually get it to work. To be perfectly frank, I don't see why players couldn't get priority during the untap step after all of the turn-based actions happen, just like what happens in every other step. If anybody has any ideas about what horribly broken thing might happen if the rules were changed this way, be sure to let me know in the comments because this is something that's bothered me for a while now. But hold on a minute, aren't I just dodging the question with the technicality here? I mean, okay sure, this wouldn't work with Palace Siege specifically because it just so happens that both of the abilities on this one are upkeep triggers. But wasn't the original question really asking about what mode you would get if you copied a siege with a Mirage Mirror? What about that? Well, fair enough. Let's say that we're trying to make the Mirage Mirror into a Marodin Besieged. See, get it? It has the word Siege too. Isn't that so cute? Okay, fine. I'll stay on task here. So your initial guess might have been that since we're copying the Marodin Besieged, we would get whatever mode the original one had. But it turns out that's not the case. As you can see here, becoming a copy of a permanent does not copy any choices that were made as that permanent entered the battlefield. Rather, you get to make independent choices for that copy as it enters. Only one problem with that, the Mirage Mirror isn't actually entering the battlefield, it's already there. Accordingly, you won't get to choose Mirrans or Phyrexians at all for the Mirage Mirror. As you can see here, the template used on Marodin Besieged means that it has the Mirran ability as long as you chose Mirran, and it has the Phyrexian ability as long as you chose Phyrexian. And of course that means that if you chose neither of these, you get nothing. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.